Hey guys, it's Renee. Welcome to this Mickey Mouse Home Decor DIY. So for this one, we're gonna be needing a styrofoam sheet. I just cut it this one. It was from a bigger one, and I just cut it. And I'm using this much. You don't have to go for these measurements. And this is just me sharing what I went for, just so you have a reference for the size of mine. Then I'm going to be using some Mod Podge glue and a brush to just apply that. And I'm just going to apply glue all over that. First, I'm going to focus more on the edges and then on like the um, center making a cross there and then just going all the way and then to that i'm going to be gluing a piece of black cotton fabric and it's going to be a lot bigger than my square is just so i can cover the whole thing this is just a random piece of fabric that i had laying around the house and then i'm going to be taking a plastic bag and i'm going to put this upside down And then to glue it, I'm just going to be doing the same thing using my Mod Podge, going around with my brush. Yeah, I'm just going to glue that in. Don't use a hot glue gun because it's just going to melt it and it's not going to work. And yeah, I'm just going to glue the whole thing, going all around the edges. And this is how I'm gluing like the last part. You're going to find out if you use glues or Mod Podge that you're going to have like white residues, so you just have to wait for this to dry. Once it's dry, I'm going to be painting this in black. I'm painting this because this was actually the second time that I did this. The first time that I did it, my Mickey Mouse looked kind of odd. The ears were super uneven. So I'm just going to show you a trick that I have to make his ears even. And then I'm just going to let the whole thing dry for 24 hours. I'm going to be taking two paper sheets and I'm just going to tape this with this blue painter's tape. This is just so I have a bigger space to work with. Then I'm going to be using a plate, like the kitchen plate that I use to eat my, you know, soups and stuff. But this is going to be like the face of my Mickey Mouse, so I'm just going to mark that. And then I'm going to be taking these small bowls. They are super handy for like a lot of things, not only for this, but snacking. So I'm just going to be placing the small one where I want my ears to be. And I'm just going to mark them. But I'm going to be just taking this piece of paper so I can have like a straight line. And I can guide myself from where the ear is going to be. This is the way to do it if you want your ears to be even. I didn't do this like the first time that I did Mickey and those ears were really funny looking then i'm going to add more tape because i'm going to be cutting this it's going to be like my template or my stencil rather and i'm just going to be well cutting the part of the center of that face if that makes any sense and i need a lot of space towards the edges for the next step so yeah i'm just going to be cutting the face and the ears from the inside using my scissors once i've done that I'm just going to be taking my now dry black square and you can kind of see the Mickey Mouse in there and I'm just going to mark the center with a pin this is just for reference and I'm going to be placing the stencil where I think the face looks more centered once I have figured out the best way to place the stencil so everything looks even I'm just going to go with a bunch of pins and I'm just going to pin it so my stencil doesn't move I'm going to be taking some white acrylic paint and my round sponge again you don't have to use a sponge if you want to you can use a brush as well it's pretty much up to you but I'm going to be painting the whole thing and I'm just going to be actually covering this a few times I gave this three coats because of my background is black and the color that I'm adding on top of it is white it's going to take a bunch of coats to just be able to have like a solid white if that makes any sense so just keep that in mind but yeah once i'm happy with how opaque it seems to be i'm just going to remove my pins and voila this is the result and i'm pretty happy with how it looks how clear it looks happy dance happy dance happy dance happy dance yay but this is not over here i'm just going to be adding a few details i'm going to be taking a gold acrylic paint and I call it a big dotting tool, but it's really a makeup brush like for the eyes and stuff. But I'm going to be adding some dots, just adding a bit more details here and there, just some dots. They are not pocket dots, they are just random dots here and there because I thought it would look cute. And I'm just going to wait for the whole thing to dry. And then you can use this like kind of laying on a table and just not hang it. But if you want to hang it, we're going to be placing this upside down, remembering really well where those ears are or where you want to hang the whole face. Because I made another mistake that I'm going to show you in just one minute but i'm going to be taking a wire i'm just going to bend it once towards the middle so i could have like two equal parts and then i'm just going to be bending those uh, sides so i can put it inside the sheet 
but then to put it I'm just going to be using the same paper that I did use before so they could be even both parts and I'm just going to put it in and just push it and then to make sure this doesn't move I'm just going to be taking some painter's tape and I'm just going to be sealing this doesn't look pretty I know but it's going to be stable and you're going to be able to hang it make super sure just before you do it that your face is facing the right direction because if not this could happen to you really funny looking Mickey Mouse but anyways I just hope you liked it as I mentioned before uh, you can use this to hang it or just to place it over a table and I think it looks cute either way this was uh, Pinterest inspired but I kind of like did my own thing here and hopefully you liked it if you did don't forget to give me a thumbs up it helps out don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more stuff I have a DIY playlist on my channel if you want to check it out and don't forget to share it so more people can watch thank you so much for your time I really hope you like it let me know down below I'll talk to you on Saturday and take care bye guys